Hey everyone, in today's video I'll share you two applications that I'm really using it a lot nowadays and the most awesome thing about these two applications is that they are uh, like sync together. That, that means you open application, you open the image that you want to edit and give it a feel and look you want and you then can just take that image just as it is without even saving into another application and finish your editing with that application and then save the image. So that gives you only one image. Usually what happens while we are editing with the mobile applications is that uh, we are quite not satisfied with just one application. So we rather use two or three applications because different applications offer different filters, different creative effects and such things. So what happens is we end up saving multiple images and it takes a hell lot of time. So in this video I'll share you two applications. Um, just like I said, you can pretty much sync together the images and finish your editing and just make one image, one final image. So that's the unique thing that I really loved about using those two applications. And before we begin this video, if you are new to my channel, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button and do like my video if you really find this one helpful. So alright guys, then without wasting any more time, let's hop onto that application. So here are those two applications that we will be editing with. So the first one is this lens distortion which is a really cool application and the another one is obviously Lightroom. Now Lightroom has plenty of controls and plenty of features that we won't go through much of the detail inside this video because it might get long but still I will show you my just workflow you can quickly edit and how you can get some really nice images. So first we will open the Lightroom just tap on it if you haven't installed it just install it from Play Store if you are using Android phone and here you will find the pictures you need to add images first import it on the Lightroom and then you go to the all photos here and this is the image so this is the original image taken on one plus six so this is absolutely unedited now what I can do is the first thing this is my style this is my workflow and you can actually tweak it just as the way you want the more you use this application the more you will come to know the features and you can use your creativity to pretty much get the look that you kind of really like it so here you will find various tools and settings to customize now first thing you want to do is to go to light and here's where you will find exposure contrast highlights shadows blacks white and everything which i showed you on adobe camera if you remember if you have watched my video about that on pc so the same controls you will get here that's the nice thing about having lightroom installed on your mobile phone now here's the exposure what you'll do is as you can see it is sunrise time and the sun was a little bit on the dull side i would say but then we will little bit reduce the exposure and reduce the contrast and also reduce the highlights so that we get a little bit detail out of these clouds cloudy area and everything here so reduce the highlights increase the shadows so that as if the light has fallen on these greens it looks that way increase a bit of white and reduce a bit of black so that you get detail out of the clouds here so this is the basic first thing that i do with the image i see how the exposure is how the shadows and highlights are in the image and based on that you can actually tweak it like this the next thing to do is to move over here this is the white balance as well as you can individually tweak the colors and make it really pop and look good now as you can see it is a little bit on the warmer side and I can actually make it a little bit on the cooler side like this or even I can create some warm with this picture I'll do it like that you can also increase the vibrance so overall saturate instead of increasing the saturation I really prefer to increase the vibrance so just 20-25% will be more than enough after that we go to mix here see as you can see we have the individual colors and even you can pick a particular color and actually uh, change the saturation or other things about that so you can also do that and that's really i love about using this lightroom and as you can see it has already boosted that saturation of particular color that i tapped upon so now you can actually individually say that we want to increase the green of this so i can actually increase the saturation of the green i can actually change the color of the green as well as you can see how the greens change as i move this slider so this is how you can play you should keep doing until you get the feel and look you want with the image so this is how you can boost the color and i will actually reduce the yellowness because we already have made the white balance look little bit warm so that i will reduce the saturation of this particular color and i will actually increase the 
orange so let's change the color to a little bit on the warmer side increase the saturation also you can make it dark and light of the luminance so i just see which one suits better so we will increase the luminance here so once we are happy with this let's uh, tap on this done and as you can see there is a little bit of the mud over here and here on the mountain you can actually increase that color boost it as well from here increase the saturation of red and you can change the orange color as you can see how it varies so if uh, this is fine then we will click on done and another thing is to increase the clarity over here so i moved it here so that we can increase the clarity and little bit of dehaze so if there is any haziness going on over the clouds it will be removed and we can bring the vignetting like this so that to focus it on one particular subject because this is a landscape so you don't need to use the vignetting tool and after that we will a little bit sharpen the image so that it looks really sharp of course one plus six does the sharpening really i would say over the top so the sharpening of the one plus six is not quite good still not up to the mark especially for the landscape images there is a lot of charcoal like look so as if you have oil painted the image it looks sort of like that still so i've i'm actually testing those landscapes to show you actually what's happening with the camera stay tuned for that because i've also ported the google pixels camera onto the one plus six so hopefully i'll get to make some video about that so these are the basic settings that we will first change so you change it and when you are happy with this what we will do is instead of saving this image i tap on this share button and here just as i tap the share button we will go to the lens distortion as you can see ld so i'll just tap on this ld and the same edited image will be instantly opened into this application lens distortion this is a really awesome application and you can uh, pretty much add variety of light effects streak effects or say sort of filters to the image to make it really pop see depending on the type of scenery depending on the landscape or other pictures you are editing i can actually use the various light hits from here so because there is a sunrise going on here and we don't have exact glare of that particular sun what we can do is to bring the glare just like this boom already you can see so it looks way better than actually it was we are not introducing any sun here but we are adding a glare to make it really pop and look beautiful you can actually change the color of the glare as well but depending on the situation and scene you can actually keep it that and make it uh, look like a original image so there are plenty of other settings if you want you can pay and add more filters here you can download plus 35 filters i think they charge a minimum value you can do that if you are using more and more and you can also add some shimmers like this or you can add rain depending on the type of image again so what you have to do is uh, say that i am adding this glare here so we will add this uh, you can increase or reduce the opacity so we will little bit reduce the opacity so the sun is visible and we will also increase the contrast so it as if it falls on the greens here and increase the saturation so if we are happy with this what you need to do if you want to add one more filter you can do that but to do that you have to tap on this add layer first and then choose any other effect you want to put so just look at how awesome we made so if you are well versed with this application all can be done within just a matter of minute so it doesn't take a lot of time and once you are happy with this just tap on this and here you have the save image just tap on it high resolution image will be saved and you are good to go just look at how awesome we created in just couple of minutes so this is how i use two applications let me quickly show you another example so i again open the lightroom here so this is the adobe lightroom and let's say i pick a picture of a flower okay let me take this flower picture uh, i have uh, already edited a little bit over here as you can see if i go to light so i have added boosted the contrast a bit reduced the highlights so here's pretty much what i did i did not add any color but uh, increased the saturation of pink and orange over here as you can see so this is pretty much how i did after i did that just tapped on done and just tap on the share image and again if i tap on lens distortion now you'll see how awesome we can do it just tap on this orange filter 
just look at how awesome and how high quality the image looks overall so this is what i really loved about using this lens distortion this is uh, become one of my favorite application very easy to do where there are plenty of uh, controls over here to just match the color and other things so you can reduce the saturation if you are feeling it too much you can boost it just look how awesome it looks so this is what I really wanted to show you using the Lightroom to get the basics right and then using this lens distortion to really tweak the setting and make it really pop and look uh, very beautiful. So this is uh, the tutorial that I wanted to make for a long time and finally we are here. I hope you like this tutorial. Now go ahead make your images look awesome. If you like this tutorial please hit that like button, share with your friends, support my work and as always subscribe to my channel. See you all in another one guys. Till then take care everyone. Bye bye.